Hey guys, it's Kevin again with Spirit of Twilight. Hope you're all doing well. Today I want to go over a quick book review. And what I mean by that is this isn't necessarily a book review that I normally do. However, um, this is something that I do and I know other people do. And it can also benefit so many of you as well. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this short little video. And the book that I'm talking about is The Bullet Journal Method by, I believe it's Ryder Carroll or Carol Ryder. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it's on the Kindle. <laughs> so anyway, um, the reason why I'm suggesting this book, <laughs> and we'll talk about that just after the intro. Be right back. channel um many people keep a a book of shadows a personal journal a bullet journal um whatever you want to call it to keep track of their day-to-day -day things and this can be used in a spiritual sense as well as in your mundane life as well so the reason why I decided to do this is because I have bullet journaled for many years and every single month I would change something because, well, that's actually the whole process actually, hold on. When you change things as much as you, or as I do, I should say, with the bullet journal, I have to wonder, I'm like, am I doing this correctly? Am I following a specific set of tools that I need in order to keep up and to make this bullet journal successful? So what I did was I had a Bujo, which is a bullet journal, and then I also had a Book of Shadows or BLS, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't want them separate anymore. It was such a pain in the butt to remember to grab one book if you need one thing, grab another book if you need another thing. And you have to update both of them. Now, I'd rather just keep one. So that's what I did. I know that a couple other social media people or influencers, I don't consider myself an influencer just because I like doing this. I'm not doing it for money. So, um, the bullet journal method by... <sighs> Carol Ryder. <laughs> I still can't remember. That's, this is what happens when you get old. It's terrible. Um, but the bullet journal method goes over a couple of things as far as what you should be doing and the reason why you're doing it. It's not to show you exactly how you should be doing things because everything in a bullet journal is supposed to be catered to you. It's not supposed to be catered to a specific design um, aesthetic or it's not supposed to be catered to a specific system that is, you know, by law, the bullet journal way or, you know, anything of that nature. It's catered to you and your personal needs. So just to go over a couple of bullet points here and I have them written down, so I'm going to be looking down on my notes. Um, the first thing is it helps you accomplish more on working less and it identifies your most important tasks. This is something I was talking about earlier when I said that I changed my bullet journal all the time from month to month. It's because some tasks that I put in, such as permanent tasks or charts, let's say, like I have a daily chart for exercise, take my vitamins, eat breakfast, will I have a vegan day, if I did cardio and or weights with my exercise, if I fed my cat, if I watered the plants, you don't need all of that unless if you do. And that's something that I kind of realize and that's what this means is it helps you and lets you pull out the important things that matter the most to you. 
so you can change it. Well, the whole process of the bullet journal is based on your journey, not your destination. And the journey is basically how you're using the bullet journal. People I've seen on YouTube who have bullet journals with a stack of 10, 20 of them for 10 to 20 years. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but maybe 8 to 10 years, maybe more. But it's a journey. There's never an ending to it. You're constantly doing it. You're constantly updating. You're constantly changing. Um, for me, my aesthetic is, or aesthetic rather, is very simple. It's very, very simple. There is nothing really much in here that you can see that's elaborate like you see on a lot of bullet journalists quote-unquote YouTube channels and websites. But I do have things in here such as the moon phases, the sabbats, so on and so forth that I made up for me because that's what I wanted and I knew that would help me keep track of what I do here on YouTube and of course in my spiritual lifestyle. So this also helps you wake up so you can identify what's in front of you that's important. So not only is it showing you what's most important out of things that are not as important as others, but it shows you kind of like a reality check, if you would. Um, it's, it brings you to the present moment. It brings you into almost like meditation, if you would. It brings you into a focus. Um, it also states in here that writing by hand brings us into the present moment as well. So instead of typing something on your phone or you're typing on the computer or whatever, physically writing helps you focus on what you're doing. Your body is physically moving in a motion or design or a rhythm. It's not just tap, 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 or click, 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 click. It's you're doing something with intention. You can feel it through your body to put that energy from your chakra, such as your heart chakra, and or that, that energy that you gather and you push it down your arm into your fingertips, into the pen, onto the paper. So that's kind of like when you release something too. If you write something as far as in your journal, in my case, my bullet journal, because that's where I keep everything, including notes that I have for my YouTube channel, um, such as this one here, it goes from my power, my energy, through my body, to the pen, to the ink, to the paper, and it's recorded and it's released. Now that kind of brings the idea of intention, which is the power that holds until the end of what you're doing. Now I know I said that it's a continuous thing, it never ends, but, excuse me, but it's the power to end the attention at that particular moment, not the entire idea of bullet journaling in general. So, and those intentional lifestyles or intentional habits keep your daily spiritual and regular beliefs in check. So that's something else that you could use as well as far as the bullet journal is concerned. You could use it for your religion or your spiritual practice or um, for your business for appointments or whatever. Tracking books that you read, which I do actually, so I can bring you these videos. Um, it also reduces the number of decisions to focus on that really matters. So if you have a ton of things in your mind like I'm planning a vacation, so I need to book plane tickets, book a hotel, get a rental car, figure out where we're going to eat. Now, let, let me rephrase this. If you're going to a trip, <laughs> vacation to Walt Disney World, <laughs> I know this. I live in Orlando, Florida. I have for most of my life. If you go, you have to plan in advance the days you're going to the park because of the pandemic situation or lack thereof now, I'm not sure. I mean, we still have it, but it's not as bad as what it was. So you have to plan on 
getting masks if you don't have them. <sighs> Excuse me, I had a glass of wine. Disney requires that you wear a mask inside, not outside anymore. So you have to make sure you have masks. If not, you have to buy them at the park. Um, you have to get your travel plans done, your hotel accommodations, your rental car if you're going to stay off property or if you want a rental car if you stay at one of the, I call them extended property resorts, which is off the monorail. It's on a bus, but it's not very convenient to take them, so you want to get a rental car. Um, you got to buy tickets. You have to buy hopper passes. You have to buy your extra magic hour tickets if you're going to go for extra magic hours, which means you get like 45 minutes in the beginning or 45 minutes after the park closes just for resort guests. You have to plan your meals at the restaurants, the times, how many people, whether or not you have to put a credit card down to hold the reservation for the restaurant, depending on which restaurant it is, how many people are in your party, um, what restaurants are actually open, because not all of them are open all of the time. As a matter of fact, some of them are open 24 hours, but those are quick service and just like convenience store type little places and that's that nothing's open 24 hours at Walt Disney World. So then you have to plan your park hours. In addition to all of that, you have to plan if you want to do the special events such as the fireworks of the Magic Kingdom, then I'll charge extra for that. You have to plan if you're going to do dessert and the Magic Kingdom during the fireworks, which is another fee and you have to plan for that if it's not full. And that's the whole problem with this is if it's not full. So if you're getting what I mean, this is bringing everything from what you're going to wear to your toothbrush to, hey, I know I need this stuff to go, but I have to do all this before I get there. So that would be your focus. And that brings the number of decisions that you have to make about which hotel, what flight, what car rental, oh by the way, Magic Express is no longer active, so unfortunately, yes, you have to rent a car from the airport. Um, that happened as of last year. And then of course, we have the decisions is just a thought until it's actually acted upon. So when you make a decision, it's just a thought. It hasn't been acted upon at all. So that's another thing you have to think about too. If you have a ton of thoughts in your head, in your mind, of things that you need to do, various different things, of various different topics or subjects or what have you, you still have to put that somewhere so you don't lose your mind by the middle of the day. So that's another good reason for bullet journaling. It's the same thing in the spiritual lifestyle. If you're planning a ritual, if you're planning a get together, if you're planning a Sabbath, if you're planning to make um, carrier oils, if you're planning on making moon water, if you're planning on doing a lot of different things, you have to have that set so you know what you're doing. And then your step-by-step -step process or your ingredients or what have you, you could put all them down too. That frees everything up in your mind so you can deal with other things. So the bullet journal just isn't for your day-to-day -day life on the physical plane, it's also it can be very helpful when you're creating a bullet journal to use as a book of shadows. So that was what my video today was about. And of course, if you liked this video, please go ahead and like it, share it, click on subscribe so you can see more of me. I love to see you too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.